And the current situation that we have going on today, to make this relevant to us, here and now, where we're being demonized, where left and right our faith and the values that we live by are being questioned in the media, mainstream politics, discussions, conversations, at each and every single step in the public sphere, we're being made to question ourselves. And we find this, this reluctance, this hesitation, this self-doubt. We're starting to become insecure about who we are, what we believe, the code that we live by. The solution lies in this same issue. When we find that type of a connection with Allah, and we realize that we are the friends of Allah, we have Allah on our side, and we find that confidence and that strength through our connection with Allah, then what does Allah tell us in the very next ayah? وَلِلَّهِ مَا فِي السَّمَاوَاتِ وَمَا فِي الْأَرْضِ وَكَانَ اللَّهُ بِكُلِّ شَيْءٍ مُحِيطًا to, for Allah alone, it is the exclusive sole property of Allah. Everything that is in the heavens and everything that's in the earth. وَكَانَ اللَّهُ بِكُلِّ شَيْءٍ مُحِيطًا And Allah is encompassing and has encircled each and every single thing. Everything is within the grasp of Allah. Everything in, is, is in His control. Nothing escapes His control and His power. Then we have that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala on our side. And that's where we derive our strength. That's where we get our confidence from. And that's the perspective that I want everyone to inshallah take home today. That I can also find that type of relationship with Allah. I can find that strength within myself. But I have to go and find it in my relationship, in my connection with Allah. And if I'm able to do so, then there's nothing else that will ever make me doubt myself. Ibrahim didn't doubt himself for a second when he was falling face first into a fire because he knew he had Allah on his side. Muhammad Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam when he's hiding in the cave of Thor on the night of the hijrah and the enemies are walking and circling around and he can hear them and see them walking around. He never for a moment doubted himself. When his travel companion Abu Bakr radiallahu anhu became nervous for just a second. What did the Prophet of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam say to his travel companion? La tahzan Inna Allah ma'ana. Don't fear, Allah is with us. When Musa alayhi salam is standing with Banu Israel at the shore of the ocean, one side it's the ocean, on the other side it's Fir'aun and his armies. They're sandwiched in the middle. And they said, Ya Musa, inna la mudrakun. Musa, what did you do? We're done for. We're dead now. You got us caught in the middle. There's nowhere to run to, nowhere to go. Musa alayhi salam responded by saying, Kalla inna ma'iya rabbi sayahdi. No, 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 you're wrong. You're, mis you're misunderstanding the situation. I have my Rabb with me. I have my Allah with me. Sayyahdeen, He will make a way for me. And at each and every single one of these occasions, what ended up happening? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala made something supernatural. Allah, Allah broke all the laws of nature and made something happen that ha till today captivates, captivates our minds and our hearts. The fire became cool. Ya nar kuni bardan wa salaman. The ocean split in the middle and they walked through the middle of the ocean. Muhammad Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam was literally invisible to the eyes of these people. Today for us, Allah can make a way. It's not difficult for Allah. It's us who are lacking. We just need to start climbing that ladder, walking up those steps, and find that relationship with Allah.